Hey AMUMC, it is Tuesday, August 18th, and we're going to take a moment to spend some time with our Lord in prayer. And as you do so, um, slow yourself down and give your heart over to Him. Our opening verse is Psalm 43.3. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to thy holy hill and to thy dwelling. Amen. And now, let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and recognize our need for God's grace and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Psalms are short today, so I will read all three of them. Psalm 121, 122, and 123. Hear these words. I lift my eyes up to the mountain. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither sleep nor slumber. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Psalm 20, 122. I rejoice with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your great gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up and the tribes of the Lord to praise the name of the Lord, according to the statue given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for peace for Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls. May security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Psalm 123. I lift my eyes up to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven. As the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave looks to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt from the proud. This is the word of, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our uh, gospel reading is John chapter five, verse 30 through 47. Hear these words that Jesus spoke and imagine yourself there. Have him speak to you. By myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear and my judgment is just for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor and I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it that you may be saved. 
John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John, for the works of the Lord has given me to finish the very works that I am doing. Testify that the Father has sent me, and the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently because you think in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you, and I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me, but if someone else comes in his name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us respond to today's readings by affirming our faith and reciting the Apostles' Creed. This is the traditional version of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as I pray this prayer of intercession, imagine yourself at the feet of Jesus or sitting beside him or walking, holding his hand. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now, let us take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, let us take on this new day with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Amen.